This video is for beginner video editors who want to learn how to edit faster and better. But even if you're advanced, you might even pick up a thing or two. Trick 1. Two ways of fading audio. The first one is the easy one. Click and drag the edge of the audio clip and drag it to the left. That will fade the audio out. Simple. The second type is really cool. So you find a point in your song where you want it to end. Typically at a kick drum or at a hit sound or something. Then go to the end of the song and find the actual ending. Add a cut right there. Alright, now let me zoom out a little and let's remove everything in between. Now snap the clips together and there you go. Now it sounds like your song is actually ending there. Perfect. Trick number two, volumetric rays. Imagine you want to make this shot more cinematic by adding God rays. Well, that's actually a brand new effect in Premiere since the latest update. Just look it up in the effect browser, drag it on your clip and there you go. Amazing. If you select your clip and go to the effect controls, you can even fine tune and tweak the effect to your liking. Trick number three, auto reframe. Now what if I want to take this video and make it vertical? So I want the Eiffel Tower to stay in focus. Instead of animating the position, simply select your clip and go to the effect controls. In here, make sure your play at is at the first frame of your clip. Then adjust the position so the Eiffel Tower is in the center. Now in the effect browser, find the auto reframe effect and drag it to your clip. And in just a few seconds, the Eiffel Tower will stay centered. Awesome, right? Trick number four, auto cut. How much time have you wasted doing non-creative and repetitive tasks? If you want to edit faster and focus on the creative stuff, you need to get rid of time-consuming editing tasks. That's where AutoCut helps me a lot. This plugin can actually cut away all my silences and bad takes. I just drag in my raw recording, open up AutoCut and go to the AutoCut Silences tab. In here, choose the entire timeline. I only need Audio Track 1 and then I click on Validate Sections. Then I choose the pacing. Energetic usually works well for me and if you scroll down, you can choose to remove the silences, keep them, mute them or remove them and keep the spaces. I'll just remove them. You can also choose a transition, this works well when you're cutting interviews, and then click on cut and delete silences. Look at that, all that work was saved. Now you can do the same thing for bad takes, it kind of works in the same way. Now AutoCut can do a lot more, you should really try it out for yourself. You can find a two week free trial in the description down below. Now I really want to show you the auto zoom feature. When you open it up, make your selection and click validate sections. First of all, you can set up the zoom trigger. The higher this is, the faster and more intense it will be. Then you can pick a trigger, I usually leave it like that, and right here I choose the anchor point. This is where AutoCut will zoom to. All you gotta do is frame yourself nicely and there you go. With a slider below, you can zoom in more or less. Next, click on apply zoom and when it's done, your video will have zooms automatically, which makes it more engaging. Cool, right? Again, I'll leave a link down below if you wanna check it out. Two weeks for free and thank you AutoCut so much for sponsoring this video. Trick number five, using adjustment layers. An adjustment layer is nothing more than just an empty clip that you put above your videos in the timeline. Any effect you apply to the adjustment layer will then be applied to the clips underneath it. To create an adjustment layer, click the new item button in the project panel, then choose adjustment layer. Now drag it on top of your videos. Now with that clip selected, head over to Lumetri color for example. Let's make some adjustments in here. Maybe push a little more warmth into the video. And now let's go to the curve step. And in here, I'm gonna get rid of the harsh greens. I always like to do that. I really love the look of dry grass and plants for some reason. Now, if you go back to the timeline, you will see that the color grade is applied to everything below the adjustment layer. So what happens if I drag the clip out of the way, then you won't see the color grade. Same thing applies with effects. If you find the Gaussian blur effect in the effect browser, for example, drag it to the adjustment layer. And if you then go and increase the blurriness, you'll see that your clips underneath it become blurry. It's that simple. Trick number six, ripple trim next to playhead. Let's say I want to cut away the empty space right here. Well, you can go and add a cut, remove everything yourself and drag the entire sequence to the left. Let's undo that. Instead, you can also move the playhead to the point where you want to add a cut. Now, if you press Q on your keyboard, you will remove everything from the last cut to the playhead. And at the same time, your entire sequence shifts to the left for you. This is very useful when you're cutting up long recordings or something. Trick number seven, ripple trim previous to playhead. This does the same thing, but instead of removing everything on the left side of the playhead, this shortcut will remove everything from the next cut to the playhead. All you gotta do is move to the point where you wanna add a cut. And right here, press the W key on your keyboard. There you go, 
It's that simple. Trick number eight, creating a nested sequence. Imagine your timeline looking like this. You're not done editing, so you want to clean up this mess. To do that, select everything that you don't need to work on. Right click it and choose nest. Give it a name, for example, done and click on OK. Now you have all your clips sitting into the nested sequence. You can actually see that sequence right here in the project panel. You can also double click the nest and that will open up the sequence separately. That way you can still make changes to your edit. Number nine, markers. I use them all the time. They're a huge lifesaver. Make sure no clip is selected and hit M on your keyboard. And here you can see a small green marker appear. By the way, if you hold down Alt, click and drag it. You can actually make it longer and make it cover a specific part of your timeline. You can also double click your marker and that will open up a whole lot of settings. You can change the color, add notes, whatever you need. Trick number 10. Removing green screens. Imagine I want to put myself into this monitor right here. Well, then in the timeline, make sure your video is underneath the TV clip. Then in the effect browser, find the ultra key effect. Drag it to the clip of your monitor. Now in the effect controls, select the color picker and click the greens. That should remove them all. You can also play around with these settings to make an even better selection. And if you want me to make a video about that, definitely let me know down below. Now all that's left to do is adjust the scale and position of your face to make it fit the television. That looks awesome. Now these five free plugins right here on my left changed my life. So if you want to check them out, click right here to continue the lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching.